Now we are on to writing section of test B of IELTS 8 student book. So the first task is you recently bought a piece of equipment for your kitchen but it did not work. You found the shop but no action was taken. Write a letter to the shop manager in your letter. Describe the problem with the equipment. Explain what happened when you found the shop and say what you would like the manager to do. You don't need to write any address. Start with dear sir and madam. So this is what is being written and this gentleman has achieved 4.5 score so this is not a very good score to be very uh, not very candid dear sir or madam i'm writing this letter to explain my problem which recently i bought dish from your shops then it is broke last week i bought a small piece of dish from my kitchen i got warranty for that when i current it in my home suddenly when i walking in the street i heard something is broke then i opened my bag and unfortunately my dish is broke and i think it was chain because it is that piece like old and not that piece which i saw in the first time i called your shop several times but unfortunately no answer from the phone your shop it i would be grateful if uh, you return your money my money or chain this piece also i like to talk with that man who chained my dash and i would like from you to stop him for a short time for his job faithfully the, the answer addresses the task and although the response to bullet two is limited and not whose Holy focus on the problem. The letter has a clear purpose. The points are organized but no, do not flow well because the progression is not always signaled properly. Ideas can be linked but there is only limited use of correctives and these are not very accurate. Vocabulary is also limited with mistakes and even basic words so the reader has to make some effort to follow the meaning. Similarly, the control stru sentence structure and grammar is weak and the punctuation is not very accurate. Uh, not used accurately. There are some correct structures but errors are very frequent and are confusing for the reader. That's why 4.5. I hope you can make it and you can write it better. Writing task 2, you should spend about 40 minutes on this task. Some people think that it is better to educate boys and girls in separate schools. Others, however, believe that boys and girls benefit more from attending mixed schools. Discuss both these views and give your own opinion. Now, in this, uh, first introduce that this topic and give your opinion whether you are with uh, educating boys and girls in separate schools or you are with the opinion that boys in schools should be taught in a mixed uh, school. You can give your opinion and then you can, uh, uh, you know, deduce the pros and cons or present the pros and cons that if they are educated in separate school, they'll, uh, well, I, if you ask me personally, I'm not in favor of boys and girls separate school. So those who are in favor, they may answer it very well. But I am in favor of attending high school because boys and girls, actually, whenever you go to society or when you will come to society, actually, the kids or these boys and girls, are going to be mature and they're going to be in some job or live social life they'll have family they have kids so actually they have to live with women only boys men would be living with women and women of course with men so they need to know it from the very beginning first boys need to uh, start uh, you know, respecting girls understand girls and they have uh, you know they can build a relationship they can build a friendship and they know how to behave or live with one another and that they will do it in coming future and discuss both views and give your opinion. So you have to give views on educating boys and girls in separate school also. For that, you have to uh, spell out the cons. Means they will only see boys, girls will only see girls. They will always be, uh, whenever they will come to the society, there will be a problem of mingling. They don't know how to, uh, they have not uh, you know, developed the courtesy or the possibility of talking to girls. And uh, same is for the girls. Even, you know, girls are more shy than, or they're shy than uh, boys. So this is a very good answer and I'm going to read it for you. Some countries have single sex education models while in other both single sex are the single sex and mixed schools coexist. And you have to the, it is the parents or the children to decide which model is preferable. Some educationists think that it is more effective to educate boys and girls in single sex schools because they believe the environment reduces distractions and encourages pupils to concentrate on their studies. This is probably true to some extent. It also allows more equality among pupils and give more opportunity to all those and the schools to choose subjects more freely without gender prejudice. For example, a, a much higher proportion of the girls study science to a higher level when they attend girls' school than their counterparts in mixed school do. Similarly, boys in single sex school are more likely to take a cookery class and to study languages, which are often thought of as a traditional subject for girls. On the other hand, some experts would argue that mixed schools prefer their pupils better for their future lives. Girls and boys learn to live and work together from an early age and are consequently not emotionally underdeveloped in their relation with the opposite sex. They are also able to learn from each other and experience the few different types of skills and talent that might be evident in a single gender only. Personally, I think that there are advantages in most systems. I went to a mixed school 
but I feel that my, I myself missed the opportunity to social specialize in science because it was seen as the natural domain and career path of boys when I was a girl. So because uh, of that, I would have preferred to go to the girls' school. But I hopefully uh, times have changed and more genders of students can have uh, equal chances to study what they want to in whichever type of school they attend. So now this this content has covered everything. They have shown the pros and cons and the benefits and finally concluded. You know, thank you so much. Take care of yourself.